With the announcement of the new very controversial series of RTX graphics cards from Nvidia, everybody with a GTX 1080 has probably had the same thought I had, which is, hmm, should I sell my firstborn child to buy one of these newfangled graphics cards with? So I decided to do a bunch of benchmarks to answer this question. Is it worth even considering an upgrade to this new generation of graphics cards if you already own a GTX 1080? So let's see how it stands in 2018. Now before I go into the benchmarks, I just want to do a quick rundown of the system I paired the 1080 with. I was using an AMD Ryzen 1700X, overclocked to 3.9 GHz, I had 16 gigs of DDR4 3000 MHz, and then the whole system was liquid cooled. Now I know you might be saying, but David, the system is liquid cooled and mine isn't, so that means yours will definitely perform better. But I did two sets of tests. The first one was using just the standard boost frequency that comes with the graphics card, and then I ran all of the tests again with an overclock applied, but it wasn't a massive overclock. The memory was only overclocked with an offset of 600 megahertz, which you can definitely do with an air cooler, and the core was only sitting at about 2030 megahertz, which again is very achievable even on a Founders Edition variant of the graphics card. On the note of what variant of the graphics card I was using, I'm using a Palit GTX 1080 Super Jetstream. I will have a review linked somewhere here. I made it about a year ago, so the video quality is probably not going to be that great, but check it out if you're interested in more details about the actual graphics card. And with that, it's almost time for the benchmarks. I just wanted to let you know that I used the latest version of the drivers for the graphics card, which is 399.7 at the making of this video, and I updated all of the games to the latest patch available, but I mean, with Steam and Origin and stuff, you can't really run the games not as the newest versions. And with all of that out the way, I think we can have a look at the benchmarks. So should you be itching to upgrade your GTX 1080? Well, as always in the world of gaming, it depends on what resolution you're gaming at. If you went all out for a 4K panel, then yes, you would benefit quite a lot from an upgrade, because mid 40s on all of the games at ultra settings is not the best. Although of course you don't have to run all games at ultra settings, it's not like it's going to give you gonorrhea if you don't, it's just nice to be able to. And the same goes for high refresh rate 1440p panels and ultra wide panels, you're not getting the kind of frame rate that your monitor supports and you're not going to have super smooth gameplay. So if you're a gamer in one of those two situations, you could benefit from getting a new graphics card. So after having looked at those benchmarks, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about how the GTX 1080 is holding up in the second half of 2018. I personally think it's holding up fairly well. One of the things that I found very interesting about this test suite was that a lot of the newer games performed very similarly to older games in the test suite, except for Monster Hunter, of course, that ran very cinematically and yeah, I think it's not a very well optimized console port. 
So this video was just to show you that there are a lot of circumstances in which you don't need to buy a new graphics card if you have a GTX 1080. Like if you're a 1080p gamer, which according to Steam is pretty much everybody today, then you have no need. And it's the same for normal refresh rate 1440p panels. It's only if you bought really expensive monitors that you should consider upgrading. And at this point, we don't know what the actual performance is going to be like of the new graphics cards. So again, I wouldn't pre-order any Anything because you're still getting good performance in most of the situations that you use this GPU in. Anyway, if you like this video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And until the next one, bye bye.